tropical storm knocked down so many trees all over the tri-state area. So who is responsible if one fell on your property? As CBS 2's Andrea Grimes reports, the answer may surprise you. A huge job on Harvard Street in Garden City. Village workers cutting an enormous tree that fell across the street onto John Dwayne's truck and property. Well, the village is doing it, but to stay a tree as far as the damage the insurance companies will have to fight that out. I don't know who's going to be responsible. Yeah. As long as it's not me. Unfortunately, Dwayne is not alone. Tuesday's storm tore down tons of trees across the tri state area, from those owned by towns, villages, and cities to trees owned by private citizens. So, who's liable if one fell onto your property? People are very surprised to find out you know, you own a tree, you own the property, your tree falls on somebody else's property. People are always assuming it's your fault and it's your liability, and that's not the law. That's sort of the exception to the law. Personal injury lawyer Richard Apat is from Vishnik McGovern Malizio in Lake Success. He says the private tree owner may be liable if they knew the tree was decaying or there were outward signs of decay. Absolutely. That would be a good liability case, whether it's talking about property damage or personal injury. When it comes to trees owned by a city or municipality, you need to file what's called notice of claim. But in terms of their liability, it's generally going to be the same for trees. They have an affirmative obligation to do some inspections. APAT says in the five boroughs, only the city can maintain a tree on city property, even if it's technically in front of your home. If it falls, you have a much better case if you expressed prior concern about it in writing. APAT says when dealing with neighbors, speak to them, let insurance companies deal with it, and to the extent there's a deductible, if you can work it out among yourselves, that's always the best way to go. In Garden City Park, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Now, Brooks, Brooklyn Councilman Justin Brannon says New Yorkers are allowed to hire a private contractor to remove a city tree if it's snapped in half and is laying across the street, but you will not be reimbursed.